Nana na osio to etoto na ye drains in the drainage system no mm. enye enti yenko orua set kujoji head of drainage drainage hydrology hydrological services department ewo ye enkra ha na ye nini eni nkomo em na ewo ministry of works and housing one more hydrological services department, you know, what they done. You didn't train come Mr. Seth Kujoji, I hope I've mentioned your name well, very well. Yes, you, you, you have, yes, yes. Yeah, and uh, even names have meanings. Um, what's the meaning of Kujoji? <laughs> oh, the meaning of Kujoji. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, it, 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 it only means it, it only means that death is a pleasant end. Wow. Yes. Death is a pleasant end. Or break yes. your woo. Right, right, yes. right, right, right. Yes. Yeah. And it's the first time we are hearing of the Hydrological Service Department of the Ministry of Works and Housing. What exactly are your duties, sir? Well, the Hydrological Services uh of uh minister of western housing um uh, engages in uh drainage design and construction supervision and maintenance uh in what we call uh, operational hydrology that is uh, uh monitoring rivers mountain gauges on the rivers to monitor water level and so on and then Coastal engineering, that's the defense work, mm -hmm. and sometimes uh, sewage, uh, sewage uh, engineering work. Oh, wow! So your work or your task is certainly an important one. Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, sir. We are bedeviled as a nation with regards to these floods and all the things that comes with it. And then the Daily Analyst paper says government tackles floods head on with huge investments. What can you tell us about these projects? Well, you know, uh, flooding in Ghana uh, started in 1968. It's not something new, but on a small scale. But it's increasing intensity and then uh, uh, scoop because of uh, uh, the status of our development. And so we all can see that the incidence of flooding is now frequent. That you, it's more frequent than it used to be. And government over the years have been making frantic efforts to solve the problem. Well, let us understand that no country is able to stop flooding. It is not possible. No Even country in the world? No country in the world has been able to stop flooding. Even the rich nations, with all the resources and technology and robust structures, they've not been able to stop, uh, stop flooding. You could hear of the United States being flooded. Sure. Britain, France, Russia, Japan, they are all experiencing flooding but it is the level of flooding and the nature of flooding that is, is, is what we need to look at this is totally different from what uh, we are experiencing they have the systems it's just that sometimes the system is overhauled but we we have not yet uh, developed the system to the extent that it can easily cope with the situation but government has been, as I said, over the years, has been making investment in the in the sector, you know, so that we can have the drainage infrastructure that is required, you know, to mitigate or to minimize flooding in the country. As you, if you listen to the minister yesterday, the minister says, government within from 2018 to 2020 has invested 450 million. Ghana cities in the drainage sector, which is unprecedented. It's never happened before. That was a very bold step. 
and some of the works have been com uh, co completed and some are ongoing. And these are the kind of intervention which is, I would say, responsible for the minimal flooding that we are experiencing or we have experienced from 2018 to date. And government is still making the necessary investment so, so that we can achieve the level of drainage infrastructure that is needed for us to have peace uh, as far as flooding in the country is concerned. So the, the investment is being made by government. Sir, we saw what happened uh, June 3 at the uh, uh, circle, Kwame Nkrumah circle, and likewise many other areas. Sometimes we wonder ah, what sort of advice went into it in terms of um, hydrology services and all that. Do they consult you guys when they are constructing something like the edifice of um, uh, across um, circle and like Kumasi more? No, not like Kumasi Kajeti, it's also got flooded. Do they advise you? Do they come to you for advice or what? Well, I think uh, your question seems to suggest that the flooding at Circle in Accra was due to the construction of the interchange. And yeah, also maybe some deficiencies in the hydrological aspect of it, yeah. Well, uh, in Accra, I, it, is not, it, it was not due to the construction of the interchange. Oh, okay. It was not due to the construction of the interchange. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what was responsible for the flooding in Accra was the fact that um, the drainage system got choked. Mm -hmm. And at that time that we had that heavy rainfall, uh, we had uh, a high sea level, which mm -hmm. coincided with the rainfall. Mm -hmm. I know if you are very concerned with the second area to the sea, that area is below sea level. And so when we have high sea level, uh, the sea flows into the system, into the channel, into the Kole Lagoon, and then it goes to cycle up to Avena. Mm -hmm. So you will see that the, there was already water in the system before the rain started. And so the, the drainage system did not have the necessary capacity to convey the flows. And that is the reason why the place got flooded to that extent. So it was not the construction of the interchange. A okay. whole lot of things are responsible for the flooding. And you will see that since that time, government started a lot of interventions in the in the area. And drain, uh, dredging of the Kole Lagoon and then the Odo has been ongoing since that time. You know, dredge matters, the contractor, the government con uh, contracted to do the dredging. They're still on site doing the dredging. And uh, if you know of Gary, uh, that, that is uh, an intervention government is making with collaboration with the World Bank. And very soon, the World Bank is making an investment into the dredging of the Kole and the Odo. And so by the end of the year or early next year, we will see a contractor on site who will be doing the dredging constantly or regularly as dredge masters are doing for a minimum of five years, mm -hmm. which will be reviewed and then maybe uh, continued. And so a lot of effort is being made uh, to mitigate the flooding within the enclave of coming Kuman cycle. So mm -hmm. <coughs> with the response to KJT, mm -hmm. uh, we, it is also not because uh, the market was constructed and uh, maybe uh, uh, hydro was not consulted with respect to drainage. Sure. You and, I, you and I, I think you saw it on social media, mm -hmm. the kind of uh, 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 tree stumps that were removed from the drains at Kegetia, mm -hmm. a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Those were the things responsible for the blockage of the system, and then the drainage system could not work. Mm -hmm resulting in the overflow of the water into the shops. Mm -hmm. And so that is the problem at KJT. If there are any other hydro, uh, hydraulic problems to be solved, uh, those things will be addressed.
but sir, sir, including dumping dumping of garbage exactly mm -hmm. exactly including dump, dumping of garbage if we dump garbage into the system the system will be choked it will be blocked mm -hmm. you see but that is the mentality unfortunately that we have that water is able to carry anything that we put inside it to uh, from from our area to another area but even if water carries whatever you have put drop inside it it only carries from your area and go and leave it in another area mm -hmm. you see but that is what we do as a people and that is the reason why our drainage systems are getting blocked and choked you know people are advocating for closed drainage systems that's covered drainage system mm -hmm. that is perfect that is what obtains in many uh, developed countries or all the developed countries the drains must be covered you know for safety so that when it rains and even if the place is flooded no motorists will drive into an open drain pedestrians mm -hmm. will not you know get drowned in an open drain that is perfect mm -hmm. but look at our attitude when those things are provided and they get blocked then we experience flooding you see so that is the situation on the ground. We need to change. Our attitude is our problem. Hmm. Sir, government tackles flags head on with huge investment. How much is going to this project and in which areas, sir? Um, you mean the circle, economic water circle area? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that is a caption we have at the uh, one of the dailies that government tackles flats head on which huge yes, exactly. investment yeah yeah that is very correct that is very correct as i said um part of the dairy project is the dredging which is going to start immediately by end of year or early next year you see a contractor on site doing the dredging constantly that is one number two government the initial investment is about $200 million wow. into the drainage sector within the other basin, in that small area, to be able to mitigate the problem. And that is only the first stage, or the first phase. Government has been able to, you know, convince the World Bank, you know, to do a bigger investment. When that phase is ended, the World Bank has agreed to support government for another thing. So the $200 million is not the end. It's just the beginning. And the success of that program will be re uh, replicated to Kumasi and Takuraji and all the our big cities where we are experiencing drainage uh, or flooding problems. So the investment is not only $200 million. Wow, wow, wow. And we hope for better results, sir. Exactly, exactly. That is what we all expect. Okay. We appreciate the time spent with us this morning, sir. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Yo. Bye. Oraset Kujoji, a head of drainage, hydrological service department of the Ministry of Works and Housing. Okay, FM. Okay. 101.7.